Welcome to Brew Talk. In this episode, we're talking Pat Max Brew Caps. Yeah. Very simple and original way to turn any fizzy, any fizzy bottle, 2 litre, 3 litre, of a normal cap, screw cap top, into a fermentation vessel. Inside the cap, there's like a neoprene latex rubber. And on the top side, there's a slit. You push it up, you see it bulges out and opens up, releasing excess CO2. I saw a few videos about these on YouTube. I thought, worth a try. I checked his website. If you buy his yeast, he'll throw you a free cap. I'm not sure the promotion is still running now, but I'll put a link to his website in the description. So very simple to use this. So let's do it, ready? The cap goes back into the sterilizing fluid. All right, you get a fizzy pop bottle. Here's a three liter bottle used for, well, a well-known brand of cider in England. But you know what? I'm repurposing it. On top of a little funnel, sterilized so we can pour the juice. All right. So now, it's so simple. So super simple. Bottle goes down, in goes the juice. Just doing a side of this for this demonstration. As you know. These things are very useful and reliable. I have one cap I got when I bought the yeast as a free sample of sorts. And so far I've got eight batches through it. This is number nine. I hate when those when the cards do this. Yeah, it's done. so this be this be batch number nine. Just any concentrate, you know? Any apple juice concentrate would make turbo cider perfectly. But then I fill it to the top, as I, as I found out on batch six, I thought, fuck it, I'll get stupid and fill it all the way nearly to the top. Big mistake. Frothing, frozen will come out the top of the bottle. I was like, ah oh, man. Trust me, leave the air gap. So about lowers here, you should be okay. Not up here, okay? You want it about least have a chair gap here. And I have a personal suspicion of mine. Pat Max, Pat Max yeast has a has its own supply of yeast nutrient. So I did a batch with the yeast nutrient and a batch without yeast nutrient. They both took in the same time, no difference. The same strength, no difference at all. So yeah. So this recipe, you don't even need it. So yeah. If you want to give it some flavour, you get some raisins if you want. And they'll give it a fruity flavour and feed the yeast as well. Just put a slit down the side and dunk them in boiling water for a minute. You can't go wrong. All right, fill with the bottle, check. Up a bit more, why not? Leave a good few inches head gap. That juice for you later. Then you just pitch your yeast. And you've got his own yeast here. His website claims up to 22% ABV. I've tested it, full ferment out, and it varies between 18 and 21. But then again, I'm still playing with this yeast. It's a lot of fun. This will be the fifth batch I'm using with this yeast. You don't need a lot of it either. Less than half a teaspoon and you'll be okay.
down. Yeast in. Now it's a simple case of getting your sterilised brew cap. You just sterilise everything really, it's just a good habit, you know. Cap goes on. Put your finger over the top so it doesn't make a mess when you give it a shake. Bang, Pat Max brew caps. If you don't want to mess around with Demijohns, you just want to keep it easy, get Pat Max brew caps. I really like them. And I agree there were YouTubers who actually featured these. Pat Mac himself and Craig Tube did a, did a cover of these. Another endorsement for you, Pat. Your caps are very good. Keep up the innovative work, my friend. <laughs>